Hello, my name is Sally Kim. So, what language am I speaking now? Yes, I am speaking English, and that is definitely not my first language. My first language is Korean, as you all know. So, let me have the basic reading in Korean again. 안녕하세요. So, I am a multilingual person, as many of you in here are. I started speaking Korean when I was five, English when I was seven, and I'm now teaching myself Japanese and Chinese. I like studying various languages, but some people, however, they, they, we do not have to learn a language anymore because, well, because of the development of the artificial AIs. But however, I do not agree on that opinion. I think that learning language has a lot of advantages and that it is not never too late for us to learn. So today I'd like to talk a little bit more about these languages. To have another language is to possess a second soul. That is what Marcus said, an expert in foreign language learning. So like this, learning a language is not just jumping into another field, but having to learn another self. Each language has its own characteristics. The language contains the characteristics of the society which uses it and the person which made it. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, first off, English. Well, I'm speaking English right now and my tone has gone up a little bit. When speaking English, well, English is a language that is more active and open than any others. According to our research team in Connecticut, it is said that when the English users are using more confident, active, outgoing, and society than others. And when we speak English, we, are, we often talk from our own perspective. The typical example of this is the sentence that I like those hats. When I speak a language, as I said before, my turn goes up a little bit, and also my speaking becomes more positive than usual. These, these characteristics are often more clear when spoken American English rather than British English, because the U.S. has been historically been had a really strong will of freedom, so those characteristics appear. So next up is Korean, which is our basically first language, Korean. When I speak Korean, our voice tone goes down a little bit than usual when I'm speaking English. And we often value objective facts rather than our own thoughts. So, and also, it has a characteristic that it is very polite at times, but it is often very rare. That's because our country was once a Confucian country. And also, Korean has a characteristic that is very expressive because it contains a lot of meaning in just one word. Japanese, on the other hand, values society and community more than the individual. Chinese is similar in that point, except it's more exciting to say because of its accents. German is a little bit strict and even strict when speaking jokes. People who speak French says they feel more elegant when they speak French. So why do these characteristics appear? I have two answers to give to you. First is because of the language, the characteristics of the language itself, the progress in making the text. The second is because of our own experience, because things priming. So our ears are divided according to the experience we have. So in my case, I have the family singer, the student singer, and the friend singer. Eger as a family is quite comfortable and confident, and Eger as a student is quite strict. And lastly, myself as a friend is more arrogant and active than usual. In these ways, our experience and the way we speak the language varies according to the experience we have. So, as such, planning refers to this meaning that the formal experience impacting the later experience. Learning a new language always gives us a freshness. It too brings the manifestation of finding a new self. But those are not the whole reasons why, why learning a new language is important. So another reason why is because we have to 
speak to another people, which enables us to communication with others. It fosters our social communication skills by providing us opportunities to talk with others. And secondly, it is because it keeps our brain young. So in other words, it makes our brain keep, keep working. Using another language is just like wearing a persona, which is kind of a mask. And so according to Irma News, it needs a lot of parts. So it keeps our brain working. So it keeps our brain keep young. Well, we have to use languages and will use languages a lot of time, even though it is in the past, present, or the future. And in in the future, many students will have to learn more languages because it's a time of global global world. But I hope you don't think that learning languages is just a boring and annoying time, but rather think it as an opportunity to talk with others, find another self, and communicate with others. So 